Chapter 97 The private detective had to disguise himself. See you tomorrow. Anna took a step back and said with a smile, I'm going to work. Zachary's car was blocking the front door of the Simpsons. How was Anna going to work? A car slowly drove over and pressed the horn. Anna. Zachary immediately knew that the car was going to take Anna to work. He recognized the driver. It was old Mr. Simpson's driver. Zachary did not know why old Mr. Simpson was so good to Anna. Perhaps it was because he saw Anna grow up, so he treated her particularly well. But. Don't go. Is it really interesting to run away from us like this? Zachary stopped Anna once again. It's boring. Anna gently pushed Zachary's hand away, still smiling at her. Then what's the point of you being so persistent? Anna turned around and got into the car, letting old Mr. Simpson send her to work. Zachary just watched Anna leave, but there was no way to stop him. There was indeed no way to stop him. Could it be that in front of the driver, he would? He stood in front of the car as if he was in pain. In the end, he was helped into the car by Joe. Although Anna got in the car, the speed of the car was far from being that fast, allowing her to see what was happening behind her. What was it? Even if Anna saw that Zachary seemed to be in pain, it did not seem like she was pretending. Young madam. Is young master sick? The driver suddenly asked Anna. Since Anna could see it, the driver could also see it clearly, right? No. He is just a little tired, Anna said with a smile. Tired? Will he be in that state? The driver believed Anna's words and sent Anna to work first. After that, Anna did not return to his and Zachary's home for several days. Instead, she lived directly in the Simpsons. Exhaustion from work could temporarily make Anna forget her worries, but at the same time, it would make her feel very depressed. There was no way she could be happy, and she really had to consider changing the working environment. When Anna went to the bathroom, she saw Agnes waiting for her there. Zhao. Just as Anna was about to walk over, she saw a security guard walk to Agnes. Because Agnes was not a staff member, she could not enter. Previously, she could sneak in, but today, she was discovered. According to Anna's estimation, it should not be easy for Agnes to come in again in the future, right? Just as Anna was thinking, he strode over. Sorry, I know her. I'll send her out, Anna said to the security guard. The security guard looked at Anna and said impatiently, OK, send her out. Anna, don't keep bringing other people into the working room. Aren't you afraid of drowning again? Anna's face immediately became quite ugly. Of course, it could be heard that this security guard was provoking. However, Anna endured. Anna found that her temper was getting better and better, so good that even she felt unfamiliar with it. She could understand the feeling of kissing because she did not want to lose it. Let's go. Anna said to Agnes. Agnes took a deep look at the security guard and said to Anna with a smile, if he knew that you were the young madam of the beta group, would he still be so rude? Anna smiled and did not answer. He sent resumes to the beta, but he was sent back. You have to be careful. If he knows your identity, he might retaliate against you. Agnes reminded Anna. What was this? Anna found that Agnes indeed knew a lot of things. Just by looking at a person's face, he would know about his relevant information. It was like a computer in his brain that collected information. However, there was one thing that Agnes did not know. I also sent my resume back to Beta. Anna's voice was neither loud nor soft. My academic qualifications and specialization might not even be needed by them. Anna studied the major of the trainer. 
you will also be sent back. Agnes was very surprised. He found that he had not conducted a detailed investigation on Anna's experience. It was really a big mistake. Yes, it was Aunt who sent me back. Anna smiled and said, Aunt said that I usually don't want to go to work. You have such a good opportunity and still want to go to the company. It is a man's business to work hard. You should stay at home and raise it. When Anna imitated Aunt's tone and said these words, Agnes really did not know whether to laugh or cry. It turned out that in this current society, there were still women who felt it was natural to live a good life at home. Of course, the people of the Simpsons also had the capital to do so. If it was someone else, they would definitely rush about for three meals a day. I can already enter the sanatorium. I want to tell you that you won't see me for a long time. Agnes suddenly said to Anna. Anna couldn't help but stand on the spot, staring at Agnes blankly. Could it be that Agnes wanted to sneak into the sanatorium? No, it will be dangerous this way. Anna rejected Agnes' idea without hesitation. If Agnes really met with an accident in the end, then there was no difference between her and the murderer. Agnes looked at Anna's nervous face and immediately said with a smile, Don't worry, I applied for a job normally, but I might not be able to give you a message in time. You have to protect yourself. Their relationship was obvious. They were not good friends, but were employer and employee. However, Anna seemed to feel friendship from Agnes. However, it was no wonder that when Agnes appeared in front of her, he did not bring anything with him. It turned out that he was only explaining the schedule to her. All right, I will wait for your good friend. I hope you will bring me weapons that can fight back against them, Anna said to Agnes with a smile. Just like that, Agnes was sent out by Anna. When Anna turned around and was about to go back to work, her phone rang in her pocket. Anna took it out and saw that it was a call from Joe. She didn't want to hear anything about Zachary, so Anna hung up the phone. Anna went back to work for a day and her phone was thrown into the wardrobe, which kept shaking, but she didn't want to pay attention to it. The poor phone was in Anna's wardrobe and rang for a whole day. When Anna was off work, he decorated it and took it out, but found that it was out of battery. How pitiful! Anna looked at her phone with emotion. After changing her clothes and greeting her colleagues, she went to call her card and got off work. Even if her phone was out of battery, Anna was not particularly anxious, because the driver had already agreed to meet her in advance and would directly pull her back to the Simpsons. Anna did not need to worry about other things at all. This was much better than living with Zachary every day, and her heart was much more frightened. Chapter 98 I Am Loyal to Marriage What on earth made the driver so nervous? Uncle is there something wrong at home? When Anna got in the car, she found that the driver was on the phone. When he saw her, he hung up naturally. However, the nervous expression on the driver's face could not deceive Anna. The driver did not intend to hide it from Anna. After she got in the car, he anxiously said to Anna, Young master is in the hospital. His assistant said that he has been calling you all the time, but you did not answer. Zachary is in the hospital. Anna raised his eyebrows and wanted to show a particularly anxious expression, but the muscles on his face could not be controlled better. Forget it, stop pretending. Does mom and dad know? He's in the hospital. I should go home first and get something, Anna said. After all, as Zachary's wife, she should put on a good attitude when Zachary was in the hospital, right? Everyone else knows, except the old man, everything was bought now. The assistant said that the young master just wanted to see the young madam. You want to see her? Then go and see her. Let's see what else he can say. 
Anna said carelessly. What thing? The driver glanced at Anna and found that Anna seemed to be less and less concerned about the young master. In fact, the young master gradually became less and less concerned about Anna. It really didn't seem like his style to leave Anna alone on the road last night. If Anna was in danger on the road, wouldn't the young master be sad? The young people really didn't care about the consequences when they quarreled. Anna didn't say a word throughout the whole process and couldn't see where her emotions were. The only thing he was sure of was that Anna was very nervous. Young madam, young master will be fine. Actually, it's because he overworked himself and has relapsed, the driver suddenly said to Anna. An old illness. Anna heard a very new term. Yes, old illness. When the driver heard this word, his expression was the same as Anna's. It was probably because he felt that it was particularly inconceivable. It should be because Marley did not have any old illness. It was really a ridiculous word to say that it was old illness recurring. Anna suddenly realized what was going on. He smiled coldly, lowered his head, and fiddled with his phone. He had no intention of speaking at all. When they arrived at the hospital entrance, Anna got out of the car and heard the driver confirm the location of the ward. It was this hospital again. Anna only went through the glass door. Looking at the interior of the hospital, he always had a feeling. Adam would shout Marley, Anna, and then rush to their side to tease them. This would never happen. Young madam, I'll stop the car. After the driver told Anna the number of Zachary's ward, he went to stop the car first. Anna carried his bag and entered the hospital. The moment she stepped in, many familiar images rushed over. She tried very hard to control her thoughts, so that she would not think about Adam anymore. Anna knew that her biggest weakness was that she was overly fond of old relationships. This was not a good thing. She entered the elevator and pressed the button. The other family members in the elevator all looked very tired, but only Anna seemed to be very energetic. The moment the elevator door opened, Anna was ready to go out, but he looked up and saw Lena's face. Lena was holding the lunch box, but when he saw Anna, his first thought was not Anna, but turned around and ran. Why is he running? Anna looked at this scene in a daze, unable to react. Anna was stunned, and the other people in the elevator were also confused. Why is that little girl running? She seems to be scared. Anna picked up her bag and immediately pressed the elevator button to prevent the elevator door from automatically closing. It turned out that Lena was in charge of taking care of Zachary here, so there was no need for her to appear, right? Anna was ready to visit Zachary and left the ward. She strode to Zachary's ward and saw Joe leaning against the wall, looking like he was about to fall asleep. When Anna placed his hand on the doorknob, Joe woke up. Young madam. Joe immediately stood up straight and called out to Anna. We all know each other's identities. There's no need to be so reserved, Anna said with a smile. No words would be more embarrassing than what Anna said. Young master is asleep. Master and madam are going to eat. Joe smiled. Yes, they were all busy with their own things. Where is Lena? Anna turned to look at Joe. I should bring you a share of the food, he said. Joe's face became even uglier. He staggered as if he wanted to explain to Anna, but... I'm just going in to take a look. It won't happen. After all, I have to explain to Grandfather when I go back, Anna sneered. Of course, Joe would not stop Anna. Besides, it was clearly Zachary who wanted to see Anna. When Anna walked in, Zachary woke up. You're here. I thought you wouldn't come, he Shen said with a smile when he saw Anna. Yes. I don't really want to come. Anna sneered, 
but, the matter of your illness has been known to the old uncle. What should I do if it spreads to grandfather? Zachary pulled the chair next to her and wanted to let Anna sit down, but Anna sat in the seat furthest away from Zachary. She didn't want to have too much contact with Zachary, so she was very obvious. Anna, I am still loyal to our marriage. As soon as Zachary opened his mouth, Anna was deeply shocked. Anna felt as if he had heard a very funny joke. It was quite inconceivable. What are you talking about? Loyalty? You should have forgotten something very important. Anna felt that something was wrong with his ears. No matter how important the matter was, it could not compare to Marley. Zachary was quite clear about it, so when Anna spoke, Zachary knew what Anna wanted to say. In the end, Anna said, Some of us have never been married, but a marriage certificate. Don't quarrel. I feel very uncomfortable. I don't want to quarrel with you. Zachary looked at Anna seriously. Anna felt that she had never argued with Zachary before. She raised her eyebrows and smiled noncommittally. Okay, no quarrel. I have come to visit you. I should be able to leave now. Anna stood up. This was the reason why Anna came to visit Zachary. He simply went through the motions so that no one else could say anything else. Stop right there. Is it so difficult to speak properly? Do you have to resort to violence? Zachary was rather annoyed. Violence? Anna felt that it was especially ridiculous. She turned to look at the tube that was injected into Zachary's body and sneered, Violence, with your appearance, can you do it? Because she did not care about Zachary's health at all and would not care about Zachary's situation, she could provoke him at will. Chapter 99 The ward was a mess. You're so annoying. Zachary really didn't know how to describe Anna's style. He could only say angrily, can't you talk nicely? It shouldn't be. Lena is coming back soon. You have to deal with it as soon as possible. If mom finds out about this, I'm afraid things won't be too good for the country. Anna smiled. When Anna was about to go out, Zachary had to say, My relationship with Lena is not what you think. Did she think about something? Of course not. In Anna's eyes, she never cared about the relationship between Zachary and Lena. We are more like brother and sister. She has been taking care of me and has never left, Zachary suddenly said. Anna suddenly smiled and walked to the door. However, she was not going out, but locking the door. She was finally willing to turn around and listen to Zachary, but her smile was indescribably strange. Brother and sister, she is clearly what you miss. Who are you lying to? Anna smiled disdainfully. Zachary thought about it and could only say to Anna, We are indeed only in that kind of relationship. We will not go further. Although I know her feelings, in my heart, she is just a family. Family. Anna tilted his head, thinking about the interaction between Zachary and Lena. No matter what, it did not seem like the behavior of siblings. So what? Will it be useful for you to tell me all this? Anna asked impatiently. Yes. There is indeed something wrong with her spirit. She is not very sensitive, and she has some hypochondria. I am very accommodating to her, but it is definitely not love, Zachary continued. He looked up at Anna. I have nothing to do with what happened to Marley, but she thinks that I did something to her. In order to calm her down, I have been following what she said. Who would believe that? Anna rolled his eyes. Do you think I will believe that you don't like him? You guys are clearly together. Anna walked back to the door and twisted it. No. If I say no, then no. I don't like her. I don't love her. 
Anna unlocked the door. What Zachary wanted to say was not the main point. He should have indicated to Anna that Marley's matter had nothing to do with him. He only said this in order to obey Lena. But, in the end, he was very eager to show Anna that he did not love Lena. It was Anna who guided him to say such words. However, Zachary did not expect that Lena was standing outside. He should have heard what he said. Zachary, what are you talking about? Lena pushed Anna away and rushed to Zachary. Zachary was shocked. His first reaction was not to help Anna, but to pull the needle. You heard it all. Zachary was quite helpless. He had been tricked by Anna. How can you do this to me? I have done so much for you, but you say that you don't love me. Lena hugged Zachary and shouted, I have done what you want to do. I have done what you want to do in advance, but you said that you don't love me. Lena seemed to be crazy and kept shaking Zachary, as long as Zachary said truth. Hurry up and tell me. If you love me, I will tell you. Just as Lena was pulling Zachary, Joe rushed in, wanting to pull Lena away. If I don't leave, why should I leave? I am Zachary's woman. I will marry him. Lena almost grabbed the needle, but fortunately, Joe pulled her back in time. Joe was struggling, but a crazy woman had a lot of strength. Let's go, the Simpsons people are coming. Joe reminded Lena. When Lena heard Joe say this, he became even angrier. What's wrong with the people from the Simpsons? They can't separate me and Zachary. As Lena shouted, he was thrown to the side by Joe. Anna could tell that Joe wanted Zachary to be safe. Not only did they trust each other, but they could also protect each other, right? As Anna was thinking about this, she did not notice that Lena was twisting his waist and throwing himself at her. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. Hurry up and divorce, divorce. Lena pulled at Anna. Anna found that Lena was rolling his eyes, as if his emotions were out of control. Anna was so scared that she completely forgot to protect herself. She was beaten a few times. If Joe did not pull Lena again, she might have hurt Anna's face. Joe, pull her out. When He Shen just shouted out, Darren and Aubrey came back. The couple had a long face, but they seemed to be angry with each other. Anna, what's wrong with you? Are you hurt? Does it hurt? Aubrey asked, pulling Anna out of the ward. What's wrong with this woman? She's making a scene in my son's ward. Hurry up and chase her out. If you want to marry me, Shen. Just as Lena said Zachary's name, Joe covered her mouth and dragged her out. Aubrey could tell that this woman was Lena, the mistress that Anna had mentioned before, right? Stop. Aubrey stood in front of Lena and Joe and said coldly, You disturbed my son's rest and bullied my daughter-in-law. Do you think there is no one in Simpsons? Their ward was noisy and noisy, which seriously affected the rest of the patients in other wards. A group of nurses ran over and tried to stop them. But now it was useless to say anything. Aubrey just wanted to teach Lena a lesson. This lesson had to be taught in front of Zachary. Aubrey gave her a slap and finally woke her up. What was she doing? Was she crazy again? I, I. Lena suddenly did not know what to do. He heard Zachary, who barely walked to the door, say, Mom, don't worry about her. Just throw her out. You are quite generous. This woman not only made trouble for you, but also hit Anna. Can't you see? Aubrey looked at Zachary mockingly. Of course. Zachary saw it, but Anna was safe and sound now, but Lena had encountered a big trouble. Of course, he had to save Lena first. Mom, 
I said, don't let her go. Don't worry about her. Zachary said with a cold face. I have to. You ignorant brat, don't you think it's embarrassing to pull such an unpresentable woman into your ward? Aubrey pointed at Zachary. Zachary's expression should be said to be particularly spirited. Did Aubrey know of Lena's existence? You let go of your good wife and watched her get beaten up. You don't care, but you still care about this woman of unknown origin. If your grandfather finds out, he will skin you. Aubrey said in a low voice, gnashing his teeth. Since Aubrey had already spoken to this point, if Anna did not make a special expression, wouldn't he be letting Aubrey down too much? Anna immediately lowered his head and began to silently wipe away his tears. What's going on? Suddenly, a large family of people rushed over in a grandiose manner, as if they wanted to fight a group fight. Chapter 100 Habit Was Terrible Where did so many people come from? Are they trying to cause trouble in the hospital? The nurses immediately tried to persuade her, but after a long time, they found out that they were the family members of the patient. Family members? Which side was this family member from? Anna suddenly felt very uncertain. She was wiping her tears and was sure that she did not know these people. Darren was also very nervous and blocked the door, preventing these people from entering the ward to see Zachary. By the way, in their eyes, the person lying on the bed should be Marley. Let go. When Lena saw this scene, he immediately knew that he had found a good opportunity. He pushed Joe behind him heavily and ran away quickly. He ran really fast. When Anna saw this scene, she sighed seriously. However, her gaze did not fall on Lena. The most important thing now was what was going on with these people in front of her. Cheng Kun My brother and brothers are also worried about Marley, so they came to see him. Aubrey sighed. After that, she turned to look at the other people in the hospital. Don't misunderstand, don't misunderstand. They will leave after seeing him. They were from the Elliots. No way. Anna was quite familiar with the people from the Elliots and recognized every one of them. Looking at the few people in front of him, they looked very handsome in suits, but there was no way to hide their obscene aura. They were indeed not from the Elliots, but more like hired thugs. No we can't go in. Of course, Darren knew that Aubrey was lying. Of course, he would not let them go. In the end, it was still Aubrey who slowly took two steps forward, leaned in front of Darren and gave him a good warning. It was not a warning to him how much trouble it would be if he refused to let these people visit Zachary. Instead, it was to remind him how much of an impact it would have on the Simpsons. Didn't the people of the Simpsons especially like to have face? Of course, they had to give this face to them. At this moment, Anna was just standing at the side, completely staying out of it, treating himself as a stranger. To be honest, this feeling was quite good. At the very least, he knew what was going on in the dispute he was involved in. There were still many bystanders around and they were quite curious about what had happened between them. Anyone would be especially curious. When outsiders came, they were all family, but the people of this family were especially clear about it, clearly not willing to give the other party a chance. This relationship was really too bad. They probably all thought so, right? Anna was still just standing there watching the show as if what was happening really had nothing to do with her. In the end, it had nothing to do with it. All right, I'll let you in. Darren gritted his teeth and said. In the face of the Simpsons and Zachary's safety, he chose the former, right? Anna suddenly realized that Uncle Mew, whom she had always respected and loved, made her feel especially, humiliated. Anna. Do you want to come in? 
Aubrey asked Anna. Mom, I want to be quiet outside. Anna looked at those people with a wronged expression. She clearly wanted to stay far away from the people that Aubrey had found. Because these people did not necessarily have any principles when doing things. It was only right for her to be nervous and even want to avoid them, right? Anna just stood far away and watched as the large group of people finally entered the ward. No matter how spacious the ward was, it would be especially crowded with so many people. Anna looked at the place that was stuffed full and turned to look at Joe. Aren't you going in? Anna reminded Joe. Madam. Joe knew that Lena still hurt Anna, so he could only look at Anna awkwardly. The people of the Elliots are all inside. It's not good for me to go in again. He also wanted to go in, but Aubrey intentionally pushed him away, so he had no choice. I'll tell you something very important. Anna looked at Joe with grievance, but said in a particularly light tone, those people, are not from the Elliots. What is the meaning of this? Joe widened her eyes and looked at Anna in disbelief. Anna smiled smugly, then stepped back and turned to leave. She also wanted to protect herself, but what was happening in front of her was not something she could bear. Those people did not look like good people. When Anna was about to leave, Joe held her phone as if she had picked up a very important phone. After that, she desperately knocked on the door, hoping that Zachary could answer it. Good acting. When Anna saw this scene, this was the only thought in her mind. She wanted to give Joe a thumbs up, but she was not in the mood. Anna smiled coldly, turned around, and continued to walk forward. She raised her hand and pressed the elevator button. After entering, she pressed another staircase and took out a tissue to wipe her eyes. Because there were tears hanging from her eyes, it made her especially uncomfortable. The elevator closed, opened, and closed. There were many people coming in and out before they reached the floor that Anna wanted to go to. However, when she stepped out of the elevator and the elevator door slowly closed behind her, Anna realized that things did not seem to be very good. Where was she? Did she come here for no reason to prove how old she was? Anna turned around, pressed the button of the elevator, and waited for the next round. Where did she go with such a serious expression? She was it, the place where Adam had worked. It was just a habit. Anna secretly told herself, absolutely not because she still had a trace of affection for Adam. A habit was really terrible. Anna took a deep breath, not letting himself think about Zachary again. It would make her especially, crazy. When she came down this time, there was no one inside. In order to calm her down, God deliberately made it so that no one appeared in the elevator, right? Anna let her imagination run wild. The moment she entered the elevator and pressed the button, someone rushed in. The other party not only rushed in, but also pressed the button of the elevator as fast as possible and closed the elevator door. He completely ignored the people who came to the elevator behind him. It's her. Anna was stunned and immediately pushed away Lena who rushed in, wanting to open the elevator door again. However, it was too late. The elevator had already slowly descended, not giving Anna any chance to be alone. It was all because of Lena, wasn't it? Are you crazy? You really are shameless. Anna turned around and looked at Lena coldly. No matter how shameless I am, I am still the woman Zachary wants. You are just an abandoned woman. Do you have a way to deal with me? Lena asked proudly as she approached Anna. There was indeed no other way. As Anna thought about this, she suddenly laughed. From the start, she had found it funny, but now, it had turned into laughter. Chapter 101 Mother Wanted Money More 
Perhaps it was because she was too depressed, but when she finally had the chance to laugh, she started to laugh, unable to stop. This was what was truly laughable. Anna took a deep breath, allowing her to calm down a little. However, it was useless, wasn't it? You only wanted to show me your relationship with Zachary. Then I can only say, you succeeded. Very successful, Anna said with a smile. Really? Did you succeed? Lino looked at Anna's indifferent face and knew that Anna did not care about Zachary at all. Why? You can have anything you want. I don't have anything I want, Lina murmured. The more she thought about it, the more hurt she felt. In the end, she hugged her face and began to cry. Anna could only say that she was too innocent. She did not say anything to Lina and he began to cry. The moment the elevator door opened, Anna also began to cry. What is going on? The person outside the elevator had a shocked expression. Anna covered her face and ran out first, but when she arrived outside the hospital, she wiped her tears and sat on a chair at the side. The position was relatively hidden, so Lena shouldn't be able to see it, right? Anna thought to himself, but when Keaton saw Lena chasing after him, he was very flustered, as if he had to find her position. However, because Anna hid himself very tightly, he watched as Lena searched everywhere, walking further and further away. It was really strange. Anna looked at Lena's departing figure and finally shook his head. She found it hard to understand this woman. If he really believed that she and Zachary were true love, then he should think of a way to keep Zachary and not pull her, right? Lena could disturb Zachary but he had to put on his own posture. In the end, the laughable person was only himself. Anna shook his head and sat there, blowing the wind. She watched as the men that Aubrey had invited walked past her. Anna felt especially horrified. She took a deep breath and finally calmed herself down. It was really scary, Anna thought gloomily. Her phone also rang at this time. Anna casually picked it up and heard Zachary's voice. Do you want to go upstairs? Zachary asked her. Go upstairs. Anna looked at his phone and felt very surprised. You know I am downstairs. Anna asked him in surprise. Of course. I can see you, Zachary said. Anna looked up at the hospital building. She knew that Zachary was standing in front of a window and looking down at her. However, she did not want to go up. Don't go upstairs. Take a good rest. I'm going home, Anna said with a smile. On the other side of the line, Zachary's voice sounded particularly dull, probably very angry. However, the angrier Zachary was, the better Anna's mood would become. Anger hurts the body. Anna reminded Zachary and hung up the phone. If she did not guess wrong, Darren and Aubrey were upstairs engaged in a tug of war. Madam. Joe suddenly appeared in front of Anna and said politely, Young master asked me to send you home. Go home. Did Joe know which home she was going back to? Just as Anna was about to ask him, she suddenly felt that the questions she asked must be extra, right? Okay, send me back. Anna followed Joe and got into the car. When she just sat down, she saw Lena running back in a hurry. Not only did Anna see it, Joe also saw it. Madam. Joe called out to Anna softly. If you have something to say, just say it. Anna seemed especially impatient. Actually, Lena is a good person. It's just that she's too stubborn, Joe said softly. Her persistence has its benefits, but it has nothing to do with me. Let's drive, Anna said coldly. She did not want to hear anything about Lena. But when Joe started the car, Lena happened to see her. 
Anna thought that Lena would rush over, but she just stood there motionless. When the car slowly drove past Lena, Anna also looked into Lena's eyes. Lena's eyes were dark enough, looking at her with resentment, as if she had taken away Lena's eyes. Was it really like this? Wasn't it Zachary who took everything from her? Anna sneered. She turned around and looked ahead. Anna. Lena suddenly shouted from outside, but how could Anna respond to her? When the car drove away from the hospital, she threw Lena's figure out of Anna's mind. However, there were some things that Anna really wanted to know. For example, is there really something wrong with her spirit? Or did she deliberately take out a medical case to lie to me? Anna asked Joe. Joe should be very polite to Anna. He just said to Anna, there are indeed some problems, but they are not important. Anna looked out of the car and only hoped that everything she was experiencing and inexplicable would end quickly. When Anna got out of the car and entered the house, she handed the bag in her hand to the servant and her phone rang. Was it Aubrey? Aubrey would not be as cautious as before when she called her. Now, their family of four could be considered open and honest. They knew each other's background, and Aubrey would call her openly without any hesitation. Anna picked it up. Mom. I have good news for you, Aubrey said casually. Good news. When Anna heard Aubrey's brisk and proud tone, the first thing he thought of was Marley. Was it because Zachary couldn't hide it and decided to return his identity? In the end, Aubrey said, they have already signed an agreement to increase the percentage of dividends. It's really a good thing. Shi Xuan Guan Anna stood stiffly at the entrance and listened to Aubrey continue, Anna, no matter how hard you try, you have to find a way to get more from Zachary so that you won't lose out. Aubrey's tone was too pleasant, as if a needle had pierced into Anna's heart. Even if he got the share dividends, what could he do? Was this what Aubrey wanted? Mom. What did they say about Marley? Anna asked Aubrey softly. With just one sentence, Aubrey fell silent. Anna, we will definitely get the evidence. Aubrey quickly found his voice and vowed to Anna we will rope in all the people who hurt Marley. Anna thought that Aubrey would take the shares and think of other ways to get justice for Marley. Who knew that Aubrey only wanted money? Anna took a deep breath and tried to suppress her emotions, but she sucked in enough sadness into her heart. She covered her face and squatted on the ground, crying. She suddenly realized that she might be fighting alone, and Aubrey might slowly forget this hatred. Chapter 102 An Understanding Crazy Woman Anna is already home, right? Zachary looked at the busy Joe and asked softly. We're here, very calm, Joe said. Why is he not calm? The whole thing has nothing to do with her. Zachary snorted. Joe raised his head and looked at Zachary. He really had nothing to say. Zachary probably did not know what he was thinking in his heart. Young master, take the medicine. Joe handed the water to Zachary. Tell me. What is Anna doing now? Is he conspiring with Aubrey? Zachary looked at him. He had been guessing Anna's whereabouts, wouldn't he be guessing? Joe was already annoyed, but he couldn't show too many thoughts on the surface. In the end, he just handed the phone to Zachary. Zachary took the phone doubtfully and listened to Joe say, Young master, why don't you make a call? If he wanted to know Anna's whereabouts so badly, he might as well call him directly to confirm it. With their relationship, when Anna was in a hurry, he would definitely tell him his exact location. Joe. Zachary coldly called out Joe's name. He suddenly raised his hand and threw the phone over. However, he said with a smile, are you looking to die? 
Joe finally heard that there was no longer a strong sense of oppression in Zachary's tone. It was already light and quick. Why? If you really don't like Anna, then divorce. You are Marley now. No one can refute you. Yes, no one could refute it, including Darren. But... I have a hunch that if we divorce, Anna, she... Zachary faltered. He should have been able to answer the question quickly, but he could not say a word. Joe just looked at Zachary and suddenly reached out to pat him on the shoulder. If you are a brother, I will tell you one thing. Don't do something that you will regret. You must have misunderstood. Anna is Marley's woman and has always been his. Zachary sneered. The room suddenly became particularly quiet, making it difficult for people to breathe. Joe couldn't say anything else to comfort him. He could only raise his hand and gently pat his shoulder, giving him a sense of security. All right, I understand, brother. Just as Zachary finished speaking, he heard the sound of someone walking in. He immediately pulled a long face and looked at the door gloomily, wanting to see who it was. Joe glanced at him and walked to the door. Joe, how is Zachary? I just bought it. Eat it while it's hot. Lena walked in with a smile. It turned out to be Lena. Zachary was only relieved. You don't have to send it over. I was going to buy it. Joe smiled at Lena and said, You. Before he could finish speaking, Lena had already walked over to Zachary. Right, Lena only had eyes for Zachary. How do you feel? Lena asked him gently. You shouldn't have attacked Anna today, if there's a next time, no one can protect you, Zachary said to Lena. Was this a reminder? But it sounded more like a warning. I didn't know she would come. I was too scared, so I moved. Lena immediately defended herself and then smiled gently. I promise, I will hide far away when I see her in the future. Really? Zachary asked Anna with a little disbelief. Aya, yeah, of course. Anna is just an immature little sister. I won't make things difficult for her. It's just that when I see her normally, I feel especially sad. Lena said with a smile. Especially sad. However, what Lena usually showed was full of smiles. Any woman would hide it in front of the person she liked. You can sit for a while. Zachary looked at the sweat on Lena's forehead and let her sit down to rest first. I can do it myself. No. You are not in good health, so I should take care of you. Lena pushed Zachary's hand away. Zachary did not refuse, but asked Lena to take care of him, just like before. Young master. Joe suddenly called Zachary, if there is nothing else, I will go back first. Tomorrow, I will bring all the things you need to deal with in the company. Before Zachary could say the word good, Lena denied it for him. Joe, let Zachary have a good rest. If there is anything you can handle, help him deal with it first. Lena made a decision for Zachary, right? Zachary looked at Lena and gave Joe a look. Lena's mood would sometimes show instability, and Zachary did not intend to let Joe say anything more exciting. If he let Lena go crazy again, it would not be too good, right? All right, I'll go back first. Joe immediately understood what Zachary meant. They were good partners who had been supporting each other for a long time. They only needed one look from each other to understand everything the other wanted. All right, be careful on your way. Only in front of them could Zachary completely put down his guard. Oh right. He suddenly thought of something very important. He stopped Joe and said matter-of-factly, let's go to my house again. It was already very late. Joe. When Lena heard Zachary's words, 
his heart was filled with goosebumps. Why did he let Joe go to his house again? Who else was there in his house? Oh right, there was Anna. An uneasy thought emerged in Lena's heart. She looked at Zachary carefully, hoping to deny her premonition through Zachary's eyes and actions. However, Zachary only looked at Joe firmly, waiting for an answer. Okay. Joe was startled, but she quickly came back to her senses. I'll go take a look. After watching Joe leave, Zachary took the bowl that Lena was holding. Isn't it for me to eat? Zachary did not take the bowl from Lena. He could only look at her awkwardly. Lena took a few deep breaths and turned to look at him with a smile. You want Joe to see Anna, right? And? Yes, is there a problem? Anna is in here. What if Aubrey went over and said something to Anna, making Anna sway left and right? It will not be good for us. You should get along well with Anna in the future. Tell him that when I divorce her, she will be free. You may even become good friends. Zachary gently comforted Lena. What is this? If Anna heard this, she would be especially angry and even think that he was disgusting. Zachary couldn't help but think of this, and her eyes dimmed. However, Lena was very happy and even felt that it was very feasible. Why didn't she think of it and insist that Anna was her enemy? When Zachary and Anna divorced, they would no longer be enemies.